What are your thoughts on that? Okay, listen, it's not a Mexican alien, okay? It's an alien that was revealed by Mexico, and it's real. It has to be real because it looks fake. I don't know what fallacy that is. If it looked real, I would be very suspicious. I would be like, that looks too real to be real. The fact that it just looks like a thirsty guy. The, the truth is out there, brother. It's just tall Yoda. My hypothesis is that it wouldn't... If it looked that... If the fake alien they had made to trick people looked that shitty, they wouldn't show it. They would just be like, we have an alien corpse. And we'll get back to you in six to eight weeks. Careful, they have front-facing eyes. They might be predators. I never thought about it that way. That's a scary thought. Blunt rotation with the two Mexican aliens. Please stop calling them then. They're, they're from outer space. They're not from Mexico. We already went over this early in the stream. And yeah, I would do a blunt rotation with the two Mexican aliens. Absolutely. They don't reside in Mexico either. Their bodies are interred in Mexico, okay? These are... Show some respect. They're our first visitors which prove without a shadow of a doubt the existence of intelligent extraterrestrial life in our universe. We are not alone. There's also some desiccated fucking E.T. looking motherfuckers who are like two and a half feet tall. <laughs> eight pounds. Oh, man. They would not last through... An Illinois winter, right? Am I right, fellow people from Illinois? They would not make it. Okay, but nice jellyfish, nice jellyfish. Try that in a small town. So true! Try landing your fucking stupid spaceship in a small town, idiot. If I found those aliens, I'm beating them to death. It's so fucked up that I definitely wouldn't. I would for sure be the guy that was like screaming like, stop it, stop it. I'd be like crying. This would be so embarrassing for me. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> you ever see that thread on Twitter where the guy was like, here's all the scientific reasons that like Coke is better for you than water? And it was all like, yeah, yeah, there's like some sugar in it, but like, look at all the, look at the minerals versus like water has like almost none minerals. Look at all the micronesium that Coke contains, which is very important for calcium uptake in your bones and stuff like that. We are, we are raising a new breed of insane person on the internet these days. Put me up against Hey It's Jordan again. Did you see the glasses are frauds take? Yep, I saw that one. What's the one thing that your optometrist doesn't want you to know about? The fact that you do not need glasses. That's right, you may have been told that you need glasses, but that's actually a lie. There are mental, emotional, physical, and even spiritual reasons why you may not be seeing, and I'm here to tell you that that can be healed. If you want to learn more, read the comments. We, I, these people have always existed, but there's like a, there's definitely like a new degree that the insanity is being spotlighted for sure. There's a, there's some crazy ones. One of them is, you know, glad you don't need glasses. Um, if you stop wearing glasses, your eyes will get better. It is true that when you start wearing glasses, your eyes get worse, but that's because you can finally like see for the first time in your life. Like you'll always need to get stronger glasses until your eyes get so bad they can't get bad anymore. But the other one that I, and I wasn't really like fully aware of the existence of this. That's a nasty team right there. There's a, a, a generation of grifter that is anti-sunscreen and I don't mean, like, don't get it twisted. I don't mean that they're like, you should use sunscreens that like don't have this chemical in them. I mean, they're literally like, you should tan and burn yourself in the sun. Skin cancer is like made up by the deep state. And what's crazy is that like, 
probably like one of them is watching this video and they're going to be like, normally I vibe with NL and his jokes, but this one kind of hit close to home. I, you should really do your own research before you like jump to conclusions like this. It's sad that you've been co-opted by the Illuminati to promote fucking, <laughs> I don't even know the name of a uh, sunscreen brand <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Coconut Billies or whatever. Well, I've got to go to a work meeting. Have fun, everybody. But I'm sorry about all this stuff I said about sunscreen, okay? I don't know. I haven't done my own reason. I, I'm joking. You're probably, you're probably a sunscreen believer, if I had to guess. I was talking to my dermatologist. He said you should put on sunscreen like every time you think about leaving your house. Seems like good advice, man. That being said, do I follow that advice? Not really. I would say, on average, if I'm going outside for more than... I know I'm going to be out and about for more than 60 minutes, I will put sunscreen on. And I, I always put it on my kid. But if I'm just going outside for a bit, I do not put it on. I know that I should. But I'm like, man, eh, everybody's got to make their choice. 